hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is going to be video number six in the beginner series. This is going to be a flow. I will offer the modifications and I will be going slowly. However, we will be flowing. So this is meant to get your mind wrapped around the flow of yoga versus just poses and learning the basics. So while I'm still going to dive very deep, we will be moving today. I want you to go ahead and find a nice comfortable seated position. This can be our easy pose. This can be kneeling. We can also have our block under our sits bones if that works or if that feels better for us. So once you arrive on your mat, go ahead and close your eyes. Go ahead and lengthen your spine as long as you can get it, reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Go ahead and put that grin on your face. You are a rock star. You showed up for yourself today. No one pulled you out onto this mat. You came here all by yourself. Way to go. That's that rock star inside of you, just waiting to come out. <laughs> Go ahead and start to notice your breath. Notice in the space around you, not thinking about what's next and what we have to do. Fully present into our probably only time for ourselves today. We are going to enjoy this time. Let's go ahead and start with neck rolls, right ear to right shoulder. Stretch all through that left side of the neck. Roll down through middle, hold, look down, stretching all through the back. And over to the left, stretching all down the right side. And roll back, looking up, stretching all through the front of the neck. You can go ahead and place your left hand down. Sweep the right arm up. Modifications here. We can bring the earth up to us. This feels better. Stretching all through the right side body. I'm sure you found through these, um, the first five videos, that side body becomes very tight. And it's something that we don't work a lot. Go ahead and come back to center. If you need the block, go ahead and move the block, place the right hand down, sweep the left arm up, and left side body stretch. A lot of people can fold further forwards than they can to the side, because we just don't do this. Back to the middle. Go ahead and twist to the right. Left hand on the right knee. You can use your right hand to twist you a little deeper. On your inhales, we are lengthening and straightening. And then on the exhale is when we can twist deeper. Inhale, arms up. And twist to the left. Same thing from this side to our right hands on our left knee. Our left hand is behind us, helping us twist deeper. On the inhales, we sit up nice and tall. And the exhales, we twist deeper. With smiles on our faces. Beautiful. Okay, 
Go ahead and open up your legs. Wide-legged, seat. Jumping right into the stretching this morning. <laughs> so we'll do the rocking back and forth. So I love before I go to one side or the other to warm it up. So rock to the left and then the right, just slowly coming back and forth. Each time finding that pull and then going to the other side. This also, this moving in and out helps strengthen the muscles because we can't have flexibility without strength or we can but it's not safe and the same goes the other way we can have strength and zero flexibility and we're not going for either of those we definitely want the balance we want to safely flex <laughs> And we also want to be strong and flexible. We don't just want to be tense boards. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and fold over to the left. And walk those hands around the center and folding over. The right. Keeping our active toes, active feet. Remembering to breathe. And back to center. Now let's do our sides. So we're going to place our right, left hand down. Sweep the right hand over. Beautiful. Come over, sweep the right hand, put it down, sweep the left hand up. Now we'll notice here when we're doing these side stretches that our chest doesn't fall, okay? Our chest is almost revolving towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Good. And come back up. Bring those feet to touch, cobbler. Good. Beautiful butterflies here. Sit up nice and tall and butterfly them legs. And fold. I love to grab my feet and just kind of pull. We are keeping a straight spine so we're not, you know, hunching over. We're just straightening and flexing through the hips here when we do this without bending the spine. Beautiful. Find your all fours position. So here we are. We got our shoulders over our wrist. Our knees are about hip width apart and our hips are over our knees. We have a neutral spine and our gaze is straight down. We're going to drop the belly and inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Warming up the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Beautiful. Go ahead and find that neutral spine. We're going to kick the right foot back. We are not picking it up off of the floor. We are stretching through the back of the leg. It's like a kind of like a runner's lunge stretch, how you push through the heel and that pushes through or that pulls all of those calf muscles. Beautiful. Right leg goes back and left leg goes back and pushing through the hands and through the heel to feel that stretch.
Beautiful. I'll place that knee. Okay, we are going to step up to the top of the mat in a forward fold. Go ahead and rag doll here. I've had some comments about this. So bent knees allows us to get what we want. We are not straightening our legs and folding, okay? This right here, this position, doesn't allow any relief in my spine, and that's what we're going for. So you'll notice when I bend my legs, and my belly is able to come to my thighs, my back, there's not as much pressure. Please bend the knees. Yes, we bend the knees. Now, if you want to work on the flexibility here, we are in the pose with our bent knees and we are hanging. Our spine is long. Now, if you would like, you can try to straighten the legs. I'd like to point out that this also requires core. This is not all flexibility. You are literally bending your body in half and that takes core work. Literally, I know, I didn't realize it. I thought it was just a pure flexibility thing, but it's not. So, so yeah, core too. Core and flexibility to get straight legs. Okay, and that just takes some work. Please don't push that. On our next inhale, we're gonna halfway lift. So here our hands can be on our shins, above our knees, on our thighs. If we really wanna work at it and make sure we're getting it, they go out in front of us. Really long spine here. And exhale, fold. <laughs> Inhale, we're gonna root to rise, so we're gonna stand all the way up. Arms go up overhead. And on our exhale, we're gonna let our hands come down through heart center. Beautiful. I've got these things in my way here. So we're gonna do some sun A's, and I'm gonna show y'all a variation. I've had so many of y'all say you don't like vinyasa and chaturanga, so let me give you a better one. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, slice through that sky, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Okay, number one. If this is a lot, lower the knees. This is, you will eventually feel strong enough to not have to do this. When I first started, I did like half of them, knees down. And then I would do half of them challenging myself to push myself. But to get to a flow, to get through a flow, sometimes we have to surrender and accept facts of, you know, like we haven't done this in a while. We have to, we have to get our body back used to this. Please, lower the knees. Okay? Chaturanga, same thing, you guys. Whenever I say push forward, go ahead and lower the knees. Just, just lower the knees, come down, and, and, then, and if you're here and you're like, this is enough, drop the hips and go into upward facing dog. Don't, don't make yourself hate something and not do it. It's okay to hate it and still show up and try it. However, it's not okay to hate it and not do it. We modify it. We don't just skip it. Okay, so push forward. I'm gonna do it with y'all, so push forward, lower down, and then push back up. Now, if upward facing dog, thighs lifted, is not accessible, we do cobra, okay? And then come down, cobra, down, okay? So, let's do it again. Go ahead and walk to the top of the mat. I wasn't planning on getting this detailed, but we're gonna go with it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step right foot back, left foot back. Lower down to the knees. Lower down, 
push up cobra and then we push back through our knees into downward dog beautiful yep go ahead and take a couple deep breaths we're going to do it again we'll, we'll just do one more <laughs> no that's not why y'all came here okay so we're going to roll forward drop the knees lower down and push back up to cobra exhale downward dog <laughs> rock star way to go okay so go ahead and walk the dog get you some nice stretching through the back of the legs feel that stretch through the shoulder bend the knee and go ahead and sweep the right leg up square hips and bring that foot through we are this is something that, that somebody said. We are rounding. Okay. I am not in a plank position bringing my knee to my chest. I am totally rounded through the spine. I am on my tiptoe. So this gives me room to step. I did not start out. Most yogis do not start out stepping through. Okay. <laughs> Three leg dog. And then, you know, we kind of got to bring it through. You will get there. I 100% I promise. Go ahead and drop the back knee. Arms up. Crescent. Beautiful. Can you twist here? Open up to the side. It's helpful to put our left hand on our right knee. And our right hand is just simply... We are not collapsing into the right hand on the back leg. We are just helping the twist. Beautiful. Frame that foot. Push that right or left knee off the mat. Small twist here. Left hand, right hand up to the sky. Beautiful. And then frame that foot. Step back. Three leg dog. Whew, beautiful. Left leg sweet top. Square the hips. And go ahead and round through the spine. So bring that left foot through. Drop the right knee. Inhale up. Crescent lunge. Beautiful. Try the same twist on this side. So we're twisting to our left or right hand to the left knee. Our left hand grabs the back leg. And we are smiling and breathing here. Probably shaking too, that's okay. Your teacher's shaking too. <laughs> Beautiful. Frame that foot, pick up the right knee. That's right, send the left hand up to the sky. Easy twist. Twists are so good for us. If you can't pick that back leg up and twist, just, just leave the back leg down and twist. You get the same exact benefits. You're just not stretching that psoas muscles. You get in the same good benefits that I'm putting us in this position for. So either way. Okay, beautiful. And that foot. Step it back. Three leg dog. Beautiful. And roll forward to plank. We're going to go to the left side for side plank. If you cannot hold this for the same amount of time, drop that leg down. There we go. This is side plank. This still has so much pressure on your wrist, on your hands, on your shoulder. Do this. This is a great modified position for side plank. It still gives you all these great benefits without all the pressure. Beautiful. Okay. 
Go ahead and plant that hand. And now we're in plank. Yep, we're just going to switch over to the right. So same thing over here. We can drop the right knee down. Modified plank here. We still want our hand, our left hand up towards the sky, and our gaze should be following it still. It still programs our body for when we decide we want to, you know, take full side plank. Beautiful. Go ahead and come back over into plank. Lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Come through to cover. Beautiful. Go ahead and lay down. We're going to interlace our hands behind our back. And pull the shoulders together. Should lift you up just a little bit. Smile. Working the back muscle. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take our arms into a T here and roll over towards the left. A little shoulder stretch here. All this stuff behind me. Your right hand can be behind you, um, trying to grab for the left hand. That's just the direction it's going. And breathing. Beautiful. Come back there. And switch over to the right. Beautiful. Come back to the center. Put, put your hands under your shoulders. Push back into a child's pose. <sighs> you are amazing. And sit up, swing those legs around, and go ahead and come onto your back. Yep, I gotta work our core a little bit here. So we're gonna keep it relatively friendly today. So go ahead and tuck your hands under your butt so you're sitting on your hands, basically. Lift the legs. All right, so right here, you should feel your low back 100% against the ground. When you lower your legs, you will feel your back come off at a certain point. I want you to stop there and come back up. Okay, we are going to just do five of these. So give it your best shot So lower. One, back up. Lower two, back up. Lower three, back up. Lower four, back up. Beautiful. Go ahead and bend those knees. You can interlace your hands behind your neck. And let's do some bicycles. So we'll do 20, 10 on each side. So shins parallel to the sky and left to right, right to left, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
1920. Beautiful. Hug those knees into your chest. Ah. Ah. And Shavasana. Yes. The best ever. Go ahead and take a big deep breath in. And sigh it all out. Ah. One more deep breath in. Beautiful. Allow your body to fully relax into the mat. You deserve this time. Begin to allow your breath to come back to its normal rhythm. Mm. And just absorb all that energy you just created. Smile. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you all so much for all your comments, all of your suggestions and recommendations. I'm humbled by you guys. Please continue to share with me all the things you love, all the things you want. I am in awe. Can't wait to see you back on the mat tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.